Right, ladies, I'm back. Um, I have tried. <laughs> I've tried doing this video. This is my fourth attempt, but I got myself into such a pickle by laughing that I couldn't stop, and I've had to redo it and redo it and redo it. So I'm going to try this time without laughing, because I thought I'll change the way of how I do it at the moment. The emails I get, I get loads and loads of emails, and it's really, I've got to go into everybody's page, because of what YouTube's doing at the moment, I've got to go in everybody's page, I've got to go down onto, go into their um, private email, and then I've got to answer them that way, and to be honest, it's a pain, and I'm getting fed up with it at the moment. So what I've decided to do was, I'm going to read some of your emails out, I, I mean, they're only on the comments page, so everybody can see anyway, so I don't think you'll mind. Well, if you do, let me know, and I won't do it again. And um, I just think it'll be a lot quicker doing it this way. Um, and then I can tell you myself what I need from you if you're asking for things. Right, first of all, I'm just going to show you these first. I've tried this flower. It's a new flower again. Sorry, it's a new type of the, the old flower that I did yesterday. So we've still got the petals away. We've done them, two or three layers. But I've put lace in between. And I've edged this one. And it does look bonny. Look at that. Really full Look at the fullness in that. So try that. Mix and match your paper with your um, laces. I'm sure you're going to love those. Honest. They're so much better in the hand than what they are on screen. And they, I mean, they do look nice on screen, but uh, try that one. The other one is to do more than one layer. Uh, sorry, we're doing two layers. I've done three on this one, which has brought it up. And I've also put it through each petal through the... Uh, through the um, embossed, well, what, what do you call it, a big shot. I've all put them through the big shot and then put them together and it fluffs them up. Makes them look really fluffy. So try that one as well. And I've also put an extra layer on the bottom to give it a lot more lift. Just quickly show you these. <coughs> and I've done those. Trying different, you know, smaller ones. That one, look, that one looks different altogether. When you think they're the same, apart from one layer, and the different centres, you can see those. They're nice. Right, so that was just a few ways I've been trying this afternoon. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to answer your, your uh, email. Uh, email, should I say. Right, this one's Gail Crafts. So this is Gail the Happy Stamper. Hey, girly. Um... Cold here, uh, cold here to this Mother's Day in New Jersey. Love the lace, is beautiful. Thanks for showing. And I love your laugh. <laughs> I can't believe anybody watches me. I really can't. Um, I bet you know how to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. Yeah. In the right company. <laughs> yeah, I have a good laugh, actually. I'd rather laugh than cry. Uh, Lydia, this is Lydia, and it's Little Lids, one. She's asking for a swap. The answer is yes, my love, yes, definitely. Give me your address, send it me by email, and, um, yeah, definitely. I've noted down what you've, uh, what you, you like. You want some of the, um, paints, the pearl paints, brown, pink, glitter one, whatever. Um, uh, and the vintage postcards. Yes, darling. Ray's going down into town to do, uh, get the cards this week. Um, he's going to see what deal he can make with a guy, so we've already put some by and see if we can get a deal on them, seeing as I want so many, because I've had a lot of requests for them. Uh, so, yes, I'll put a, um, a parcel together and we'll do a swap. Look forward to that. Um, let's have a look. What's that one? No, it's all right. They were all together from Lydia. Me Memories Crafted. This is Marlene. Um, love the key. Um... I think it would be great on the front cover of a mini. You have the best market over here, over there. We do have a lot of my, um, car boot market things over here. And we, where we live, we've got two or three surrounding us. So it's quite easy to get to them. You, and they're at their, th uh, I think it's Friday nights you can go to Ruffeth, uh, Saturdays and Sundays to York, Weatherby and to Ruffeth. So yes, we do have a lot there. And that's why we're able to get to them so often. And uh, they're quite good. Regarding the key... It's yours. <laughs> I'll send you the key. If I've not already got your address, um, I think I have got your address. I think I have. 
Um, but if not, let me know. I, I can't remember. I've got a memory like a sieve. But I'll definitely, definitely um, send you the key. And uh, on a condition that you let us see what you do with it. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's big and it's heavy. It's on it, it's gorgeous. Um, but I'm sure you'll do something really good with it. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to pop it in the post here, like I say. Give me your address if you have not got it. Let's have a look. Pickaboo, this is Carol in Canada. She says, mulberry paper here is like tissue paper. Great flowers, Fiona. Well, you've given me an idea, Carol, because I wasn't thinking of tissue paper, but I was thinking of kitchen roll. I'm not sure if you you girls call it the same as what we do. It's what you mop things up in the kitchen with rather than using a cloth. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you use the, um, you know, the tacky glue that I've uh, mixed up, the PVA glue with water, and then you do a little bit of glue with uh, quite a bit of water and pop that onto uh, the paper. I'll cut your shapes out and then pop that on. Um, another tip you can do is drop some... Um, mix some watercolours up and drop some of them in different colours on it as well before you dry it and let it mingle in you know let it, um, em emerge into each other and you'll get some stunning colours uh, and stunning flowers but then when it's dry because it's been added with glue and water um, they will go quite stiff and it'll be quite nice really nice so I'm going to try that out anyway I've used the glue and water and the paints in another project in school but um, I've never tried it on the flowers but yeah, I'm going to have a go and let you know. What are we on to? 6.43. Right, okie dokie. So, yeah, thanks for the tip. <laughs> uh, oh, again, uh, this is you again, Carol. Yeah. Uh, see you starting your hubby into this addiction. Could be f uh, great for you. Not. No. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that, love. He can spend and I can make. <laughs> Only reason why I won't do it is because he might be better than me. He can draw, you know, he's a good drawer. No. He can spend all I'll I'll just make. <laughs> nice thought though. Uh Monmanson, I think that's how you say it, Monmanson. Um, gorgeous. I find it easy to do the edges and glimmer mist before putting it together. I agree totally with you. If you're going to do anything like that, do it before you do or put the flowers together. And then you can do your, your glittering and your trimming afterwards. The only reason why I've not done it myself is because um, when I'm trying things out, I just quickly put them together and see what they look like. But then again, I should do it first because then I'd get a, better, a, a different look, wouldn't I? Oh, you're so right, girl. So right. Thank you for that, darling. I'll try and remember. Although I doubt it with my brain. <laughs> um, Art Mingle. Uh, this is regarding the flowers again. They are gorgeous. You are so funny. I don't know why. I can't believe you will not watch me. You must be mad. No, I am. <laughs> it says you bring smiles to me as well. One o'clock in the morning and you were still going. I was last night, I was working till late, but I finished about half one, I think. Amazing, she says. And uh, may I ask what punches did you use? I, or did you use a die? No, I didn't use um, a, a punch at all. I'm looking for a punch for a five or a six petal or both. Um, if I can't find a punch, I want one about two inches for petals, for flowers. Um the big shots i'd like some for the big shot then a die for that i have been onto sizzix.com and when i wanted the flower they didn't have it so i need to go back on and have another look but if anybody knows who's uh, got one or uh, selling one um what website selling one cheap or something like that please let me know because i could I, honest to god i cut everything by hand just about i really do and i'm finding it really hard these days i'm getting pins and needles in my fingers and, and pains in my joints and all my fingers are getting battered look 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 at my polies because i use my scissors and tools all all the time but um, i am feeling it in my fingers these days so yeah if i got a, a die for the big shot that'd be fantastic so if you know anybody or where it is where we can get one uh, please let me know and uh, i'll sort something out Right, so that's that. Well, thank you, ladies, for your emails. Uh, it's a lot quicker, a lot easier doing it that way, isn't it? Except if you've got to sit and listen to me. 